We are now going to go through the process of activating our PSQL 12 Workgroup Engine license on this computer. The first thing we want to do is go to the PSQL License Administrator. The easiest way to find that is to press the Windows Start button, which brings us back to the Start menu on Windows 8, and then start typing in PSQL, at which point we'll have a list of all of the PSQL utilities. We select the PSQL License Administrator, and the License Administrator screen opens. This currently shows us that our Workgroup Temporary 5 User License is applied, because we've actually installed a 30-day trial in order to get this machine running. However, we have purchased our license already from our software distributor, so we go to our email that we got, we find our product activation code, which is a 30-character key, copy that value off, and paste that into the key field directly in the license administrator. Click the Authorize button to continue. The license administrator is now contacting the Actian ELS server and verifying that that license key has not been used anywhere else and now it's fully activated it. Tells us that we've activated with the current machine configuration and that we have three remaining authorizations for this product key. Click OK to dismiss and the system is up and running and we are active with our permanent key. If we need to move a license to a different computer later on the simple process is reversed. We go highlight the license key that we want to remove from this machine. We click the Deauthorize button. This again contacts the ELS server, verifies that that license is not in use, flags it as being unused on this particular computer, and says it's been successfully deauthorized. We can now put that license on a different computer if needed.